The 2018 Winter Olympics are underway. South Korea pulled out all the stops for its colorful opening ceremony. The U.S. has 242 athletes competing in this year's Olympic Games, beating the previous record of 222. Competitors at the 2014 Winter Games in Sochi. CBS Sports writer, the host of Writer Than You, Bill Ryder, is here to break it all down and what American athletes we should be looking for exactly this year. There, there's a lot of exciting ones. Maybe we start with Michaela Schifrin on the on the skiing and very dynamic young young skier. And when you pair her with Lindsey Vaughn, you're talking about a one-two punch that's as potentially impactful and dominant as any we've seen in the Olympics in a really, really long time. She is a dynamic, dynamic, dynamic athlete. Nathan Chen on the other end has been a lot around for a long, long time. A, a male figure skater did not have a great start to his Olympics, fell several times in sort of the opening part of his Olympics, but he is one of the most celebrated uh, figure skaters in the history of American Olympics. And obviously he did not do as well as he wanted last time around in Sochi. He's hoping for a return to glory. Sean White is a name that's become obviously synonymous with snowboarding and what he can do. And he is paired with Chloe Kim, who's just 17 years old on the mm. female side of the snowboarding equation. She is an I can barely ski. So this is like, I'm on the other. She's <laughs> on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. It's really cool and really impressive. And maybe the most exciting is Mame Baini. She's the first African-American um, speed skater that we've had in the history of this country. She's considered the future of the sport and she really symbolizes what the Olympics are about, which is at least in America, this coming together of different cultures, mm -hmm. representing the best parts of ourselves and hopefully we'll see dominating against all the other countries around the world. So these are the four or five athletes a lot of us in the sports world are looking at with some optimism, some hope. There's a lot of pressure on these folks, but these uh, these speak to the brightness of, of these Olympics for, for the USA this time around. Speaking of other countries, we already know the medal count for one country, Russia. Zero. Um, what is your sense for the medal count <laughs> predictions? I mean, we, we know they they not running under their flag, so they're not going to get any wins, right? Even though they're sending individuals some will get counted. I mean, so China has made it a, a national sports goal to at every Olympics they compete in, every Olympics to try to be dominant. They're going to try to do that again. But as you noted when the segment started, there's a lot of Americans competing. Yeah. There's a real sense that not only do we have the numbers, but we have the talent this time around. It'll be USA against China, probably not just in the sphere mm. of politics and economics, but playing out a little bit in, in South Korea. Very exciting. So if these Russian athletes were to win, what happens then? I mean, so it's interesting. They, they get individual, individually, they're, they're Olympic medalists. You win a gold, a silver, a bronze. Mm -hmm. And so while the rest of the world doesn't recognize Russia, I would imagine that in Russia, President Putin and the rest of the Russian government are going to celebrate their athletes. Mm -hmm. So in some ways it's semantics and mm -hmm. it's what the Olympic Committee probably had to do. You're talking about a severe level, a severe level of cheating that went on with the doping scandal, but they still get to compete. We all know that they're Russians. It'll be interesting how various media, media add up the totals. Bill Ryder, look forward to watching the Olympics. Thank I'm you, excited, you bet.